Hi, this is Lindsay with your weekly news update from openmedia.ca. First off, an update on our newest campaign, Stop the Squeeze. So your participation has drummed up quite a bit of support for this campaign. Starting with the most recent, indie cell phone provider Wind Mobile has written in support of this campaign and given us their full endorsement. The NDP digital affairs critic, Charlie Angus, sent a supportive tweet, and the Liberal Party of Canada posted an open letter to their website that supported our specific requests. This is all thanks to the efforts of Canadians who have taken the initiative to sign the petition and spread the word. Stop the Squeeze is our fastest growing campaign yet, and it's turning the heads of some very powerful players. If we keep this up, we'll have a more open uh, and competitive cell phone market in Canada. Next up, we've got some news about our Stop Online Spying campaign. The Canadian Association of Chiefs of Police have been spending your tax dollars to lobby for warrantless online surveillance. We have gotten a hold of an email where they outright admit that they have no cases that demonstrate a need for such warrantless online spying and urgently request examples that fill their lobbying void. The chiefs of police are attempting to counter what they call ill-informed criticism from the public. You can make a statement against this by staying engaged and informed and being sure to sign the petition at stopspying.ca and to spread the word. Our last news item. If you visited openmedia.ca yesterday, you may have noticed a change. We turned our website black. We joined a growing number of popular websites, both Canadian and in the US, that are speaking out against an internet censorship bill that has been tabled in America, the Stop Online Piracy Act, otherwise known as SOPA. SOPA is a US bill designed to block websites based offshore that peddle illegal content. But if passed, SOPA and its sister bill PIPA will have very serious ramifications for the internet in the US, Canada, and the rest of the world. Many groups and prominent websites, including Wikipedia, Google, Amazon, and Reddit, argue that it would fundamentally reshape the internet, hamper innovation, and limit free expression. For more information and to take action from the Canadian front, please visit openmedia.ca slash SOPA. That's all for this week, Canada. Thanks for watching. Signing off, this is Lindsay Pinto from openmedia.ca.